Today, I want to build a logging camp in Minecraft Survival. But before that, Ocean Monument. And there it is, right there. And uh, the Cinderella Castle's right there. I have made a terrible mistake, I have forgotten doors. Well, I find it wise to place my bed, sleep, and set my respawn point. Because let's face it, I'm gonna die in there. Right above it, like so. Pop on the chest plate. Beautiful, let's see if we can just sneak through here. Beautiful. Now let's fight the Elder Guardian. But there is one right there. Why, hello there. You must die. These things are ridiculously easy. Now I just have to remember where the other one is located. Um, I have somehow gone in circles. Ooh, I almost forgot my sponge. There's some weird lighting glitches happening right now. Now, if I remember correctly, the Elder Guardian is located right there. This could be so much easier if I could just sit here and mine. As you can see, I am struggling, but I want to know. Do you struggle when trying to fight Elder Guardians? Now, theoretically, it should be right around the corner. Yes. Oh, Mr. Elder Guardian, where are you? Oh, there it is. That's low. Oh, oh, okay. I told you it would happen. Now we just have to hope I can sneak in there and get my stuff. This should be fun. Oh, I'm about to die again. Oh, yep, yep. Okay, here's my stuff. And I think I did actually kill the Elder Guardian. Okay, I can't die again. I can't die again. I'm drowning. Oh, there's the helmet. Okay, that'll help me breathe. Oh my. These things pack- Ah! Professional Minecrafter here. Professional Minecrafter, I assure you. Oh, if I do not find that inventory box, it's gonna be bad. I can make a new shovel. I can get more netherite. But my inventory box is not just a shulker box. It has my netherite fortune three pickaxe in it. And if I lose that, it's not gonna be good for me. Oh, please don't let there be dolphins. If the dolphins get my stuff, that will be horrible. Okay, so I managed to find everything except for my shovel and my elytra. Guess I need to pick a new shovel now. And I do have a backup elytra that I can use. For this guardian farm, I followed a tutorial by Shulkercraft. The link should be in the description below. Then I decided the farm looked ugly, so I put a beautiful tower around it using a granite and brick base, going up to oak, to birch, to smooth sandstone, and the final layer being diorite with a dark oak roof. As you probably know, every episode of this series, I build something in the start area. Let's do that now. And here we are at the brand new building for the starter area. So this is a bit of an interesting one. We have multiple pallets going on in the same build. We have oak along with diorite and cobblestone. And then of course we have a polished andesite roof, which is something that I don't do often. And this one bit does look a bit weird in some places. I just couldn't really figure out how to fix this, but if you're viewing it from this angle, it looks great. And now I gotta hop into the nether. Then I need to go to a portal that's very close besides the Disney district. And Piggy, you must die. And this portal actually goes 
to the inside of the guardian farm as there um there actually isn't an exit to this thing and i'm actually over here because i need to craft up some dark prismarine and i gathered some ink sacks so we can do that now let's see if i can remember the recipe for dark prismarine yes that's it boy that's an expensive block but there's not too much to worry about as I'm not planning on using a lot of Dark Prismarine in this build. And honestly, the uh, only reason why I built this Guardian Farm is for uh, next episode. I just thought since I had it, might as well use a bit of Dark Prismarine, right? Oh, there's another piggy that must die. And here we are over at the Villager Factory. It has been a while since I've showed this place off on camera. And I'm not quite sure where, but I know I want to put the logging camp somewhere around here. That over... Now that land over there is perfectly suitable. But I have plans to build something over there. I've had those plans for... Like what, six months? I think I might need to change those plans. Now over here could be a nice place to put it. But as you can see right there... There's a bit of a chunk error here. A plains biome is the perfect place to put this because it is a nice, large, flat area. And of course, all the good spots have chunk errors. Now we meet snow, but we have a forest right here. I think this might be the perfect spot as, as far as the eye can see, there are no chunk errors. And if I remember correctly, there's a, yeah, there's a giant dripstone cave up here. I remember finding this on a live stream. So I think this area is absolutely perfect. It needs to be flattened out a bit, but that can be done later. Now I have a bunch of smooth stone. And I'm gonna take it, I'm gonna make it into slabs. So I have done this before and it has worked really well. All that we have to do is lay out the smooth stone slabs, and then we take some saplings and place them inside the smooth stone. This basically shows me where to place the saplings so I don't have to struggle trying to figure out the perfect lines and areas where they can go, if that makes any sense. So this is something that needs to be done here. Horse, please, I, I don't want to kill you, but you're in my way. Nothing ever happened here. Now, I want to build walls around this place once I'm done placing in the smooth stone slabs. So we're just going to do something that makes sense for a logging company. And we're just going to place... Uh, walls like this and we're not going to leave them as logs though and then we're going to strip the logs and it gives us this a nice wood feel and then we'll have a entry we'll have an entry somewhere it'll all be great then of course we do need a shed what is it with everyone annoying me today do you have anything useful no once again Nothing ever happened here. Now this is where some of this dark prismarine comes in and I might actually wind up having to build a squid farm sometime. Oh wait! I'm in single player? I can make my own choices? I'll just install a data pack. Vanilla Tweaks has a data pack that turns coal into black dye. That'll be a temporary solution. And this is where the dark prismarine comes in. So we'll just put some spruce fences here for now. And then we'll place dark prismarine on top. Just like that, and then if we fly back a bit, look on the camp from far away, that dark prismarine is a very nice and different color compared to the brown and yellowish tones of the wood. And now I need to replicate this, probably not with as many sheds, but I need to take this whole flat area and turn it into a logging camp. And I can't think of any better way to do that then with good old fashioned speed build mode. Building a better tree farming area is something I've been meaning to do for a while, and this logging camp will definitely do the trick.
I'm trying to get to 1,000 subscribers by the end of the year, so if you aren't subscribed already, please consider doing so. And I, I'm majorly out of time to, for this video today, so thank you all so much for watching. Please hit that subscribe button if you are new, like the video if you enjoyed it, and please comment down below and leave Guardian in your comment so I know you've watched it to this point in the video. And I'll see you all on the next one. Goodbye.